what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that says find the value of a for which 5 to the a plus 5 to the a is equal to 60. well our first step will be for us to factorize notice that 5 to the a is common so we can factor out 5 to the a open brackets so 5 to the a divided by 5 to the a is 1 plus 5 to the a divided by 5 to the a is 1 close brackets and this is equal to 60. now simplifying we have 5 to the a times 1 plus 1 is 2 and this is equal to 60. very good now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by 2 so i'll divide the left hand side by 2 i'll also divide the right hand side by 2. so 2 cancels out 2 from the left leaving behind 5 to the a to be equal to now on the right hand side 60 divided by 2 is 30. very good now our next step will be for us to take the log of both sides since we have the exponents as the variable so take the log of both sides so I'll take the log of 5 to the a this is equal to I'll also take the log of 30. now our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm that says when I have the log of a to the p this is p log a so I'm going to be applying this property of logarithm to what we have here so just like this this can be written as a log 5 very good and this is equal to log 30. now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by log 5 so i'll divide the left hand side by log 5 i'll divide the right hand side by log 5 very good now log 5 cancels out log 5 leaving behind a to be equal to the right hand side we have log 30 divided by log 5 very good and now simplifying we have a to be equal to the log of 30 is same as 5 times 6 very good close bracket all of our log 5 now our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm that says for example when i have the log of x times y this is same as log x plus log y so we're going to be applying this property of logarithm to what we have on the numerator so we have a to be equal to this expression like this now becomes log 5 plus log 6 very good all over all over the denominator which is log 5. now our next step will be for us to split the fraction so that we have a to be equal to log 5 divided by the denominator log 5 plus log 6 divided by the denominator log 6 very good log 5 rather very good so notice the log 5 divided by log 5 is 1 so this becomes a equal to 1 plus log 6 all over log 5 very good now simplifying further we're going to have a to be equal to 1 
plus log 6 is same as log 6 is same as 2 times 3. Very good. Close bracket all over the denominator log 5. Now, our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm to what we have here. This same law of log xy equal to log x plus log y. So this becomes a equal to 1 plus. Now, writing this expression like this, we're going to have log 2 plus log 3 all over log 5. Very good. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to split this fraction. So we have a to be equal to 1 plus splitting the fraction, we have log 2 all over the denominator, log 5 plus log 3 all over the denominator, log 5. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm that says when I have the log of x all over the log of y, this is a property of change of base. So this will be equal to the log x base y. So let's apply this property to what we have here and here. So a now becomes 1 plus this expression like this becomes log 2 base 5 plus this expression like this now becomes log 3 base 5. Very good. And this becomes our final solution. So let's check. We have 5 to the a. So this is 5 to the a. a we've got it to be. 1 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 plus 5 to the a, which is 5 to the a is 1 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Very good. Would this be equal to 60? Now, our next step be for us to apply the law of indices that says when I have for example a to the x plus y this can be written as a to the x times a to the y that means this expression can be written as 5 to the 1 times 5 to the log 2 base 5 times 5 to the log 3 base 5 plus this expression can be written as 5 to the 1 times 5 to the log 2 base 5 times 5 to the log 3 base 5 very good so would this be equal to 60 now our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm that says, for example, when I have b to the log of n base b, this is equal to, so long as this base and this base are the same, we're going to have n as a result. Very good. So now this becomes 5 to the 1 is 5 times, now the base here and the base here are the same, so I'm going to be taking 2 times the base here and the base here are the same so i'm going to be taking three plus now we'll do the same thing here 5 to the 1 is 5 times base here and base here the same so i'll take two times base here and base here are the same so i'll take three very good so would this be equal to 60. now let's multiply 5 times 2 is 10 then 3 is 30 plus 5 times 2 times 3 is 30. Would this be equal to 60? Now, 30 plus 30 is 60. 
So the left hand side is 60 and it is equal to the right hand side 60. So our value for A is very much correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.